Hey guys, this is Jen Delion with Dash Radio, and today we have a very, very special guest, Sammy. What's How good, Jen? Doing? Good to see you again. You too. It's been a I'm little so, minute. Yes. I. Everyone listening and watching on live. Um, the last time we did an interview was, what was that, like two years ago? Yeah, 2017. Yeah. Damn. Around like uh, the release of Coming of Age. Yes. And then now you already have Everlasting coming out in March. March so, 1st. That's right. I love, before we even get into the interview, I just love that I, I've seen the growth. Mm-hmm. Not that, like, I, when was it? So it was two years ago, but yeah. just even seeing on social media, even that initial conversation, I love seeing the growth because it's so genuine. And when I see that on Instagram, it's like, I love seeing everything. Thank I'm like, you. we are doing this interview and I'm excited because <laughs> it's going to be very inspiring. So, Everlasting, let's talk about, <clears throat> you know, the title of it and how that came about. Yeah. So, uh, Everlasting is the title. Um, it's it's kind of amazing. So, my mother. When I was uh, 17, that's when I had, like, my first crush, and I wanted her permission to pursue, right? I don't want to, like, sneak. 17? Everyone has their first crush at, like, when they're in kindergarten? No, nah, I mean, but you're <laughs> my first crush, crush that I'm, like, I'm going to ask this girl, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, to be my little girlfriend or whatever. <laughs> and uh, my mom was, like, a strict parent, so I had to, yeah. like, get her permission. And she yeah. was just, like, uh, no problem. She wanted to just warn me that every, from this day forth, every bad relationship, yeah. Every good relationship, uh, every one night stand, every fling, mm-hmm. you, you lose your virginity. All that stuff yeah. is going to have an everlasting effect mm-hmm. on the man you ultimately become. So, fourteen years right. later, I'm thirty one. I've been in like three serious relationships. I've been in love maybe once or two, or you know, a time or yeah. two. Um, it, it it's a lot of things and mistakes that I made in the past. Mm-hmm. It bothers my mental. Mm-hmm. So when I went in the studio and I started creating this content, I was like, oh, it's that everlasting mm-hmm. effect. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's happening. Um, so I just felt it was suitable and the perfect title for the project. It is. Did you have any other titles in mind before that you were going to pick? No, nah, actually, no? Everlasting was the first thing that came That's to mind. That's amazing. Yeah, like it was the first one. I didn't have to like compare it to the next one or That's another. Good. It was it was definitive off the rip. Amazing. So I know that you already released Times 10, but you are going to release another song in what? In On Valentine's Day. It's, a, it's entitled Playlist. Yes. Okay, yes. so... We can talk about playlists, but then after we have to turn off your live. Because That's right. Because we can't give away. It. We can't give away the 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 the, the entire track list. Stuff like that. I'm sorry and thank you, those. by the way, for giving me this track list because I'm like we're gonna go in on it. So playlist is coming out Valentine's Day. Yeah. So why playlist on Valentine's Day instead of the other tracks? That um, you had? because it sets the mood. It's a sexy record. Uh, mm-hmm. like like Times Ten is like a blunt. Sexual oh, Times was a very blunt. Okay, yeah. You're in bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. There's no foreplay in that one. Yeah. <laughs> but playlist is actually one that sets the mood. Like this okay. is the one where a guy should romance a woman. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Maybe take out the fruit, the whipped yeah. cream, light some candles. Yeah. Add playlist, my song playlist to the yeah. sex playlist that you you know that you have created. So I just want to do something for the lovers. You have know? you ever thought this is a weird question? You know how like it it's a. It definitely sets the tone, like your music of that. If like you had anybody in the past, like if they were with, so like oh, they want to see him. playing where either well with you or if like they had like a a new boyfriend, new something, but they used to like talk to you and they're like, oh, I'm playing what is right. Songs. Um, a couple times in That's my so life, awkward. Yeah, That's if, fucked up. Yeah, I can't <laughs> really. I mean, I can, but I don't. I'd rather not make love to my music. No, that'd be so, that, well. I don't make it's, music, but yeah, you know, little, but. it's a little weird. <laughs> Um, although I create it for other people to do that too. For me, I'd rather not. Let's throw on something else. <laughs> don't play my yeah. music. Yeah, don't play my music during our sexy time. <laughs> it's just it's just not created for that. It's created <laughs> it's for everybody so... else too. But but girls are really like, hey, play play your song Insomnia. Play, play, are you like, play no. Play water. I'm that's like, so oh, weird. It's and... me. Yeah, now, that's... now I can't focus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, <laughs> I, I need to concentrate. You know I never saying? thought I I literally only thought about that on the spot because it's usually like if I'm interviewing it's all rap but it's like you're not gonna play I mean who knows some people might some play people rap, sex to rap music, you know though. but you know it's saying? like when I was yeah. thinking about but like you said the playlist it sets the tone of it mm-hmm. and then I just was thinking about I wonder if anyone tried to pull oh that for with sure you, and that's for sure so awkward. it's just awkward though I'm like I would rather not so much so then you say I rather not or like how do you like no I've actually that no, I've had sex to my music before it's just tricky like now <laughs> you know what I mean because. When I listen to my own music, I'm still dissecting it. I'm still like, oh, I could have did that note a little better. I mean, I so are you like, they're like, damn, yeah. I could have been like, higher yeah. pitch. I should have like, did a higher note. You can't do that while you're trying to like please somebody. So please don't ask me to play my, my own music during that time. <laughs> Things are going to go left quick. Okay. ASAP. 
Okay, so let's get into the rest of the track list. So we'll say bye to your Instagram. Okay, I got to leave, But we'll tell y'all. them. We're going to air this it. This is Jen, by the way. Hey, guys. Dash so radio. I have the track list. I'm not airing this until what, March 15th? Yeah. Not until March 15th. But okay. But you can find it. I have the whole track list. All right. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm the one with it. Love y'all. Okay, so again, thank you for this. So we're going to break it down. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 12 songs. 13. 13? Oh, okay. Yeah, 13, 13. total. Yeah, on the album. So I want to pick, we don't have to go through <clears> each <throat> one. I just, even the titles alone just caught my attention. So uh-huh. is this the right order of it? Let's see. Let's see what you look at. If it's here. not, it's okay, because I'll just go at random. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is correct. Okay, so first one, funeral. So when I was, I'm like, is this, I guess just based off of, like I said, what I see on social, this funeral, like the death of like, like old ways or like something I don't know. That's uh-huh. what I got from it when I read like it. Me but putting I my old self to, yeah. to 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 rest. Um, actually, so off off of uh, coming of age, there's a song called Confessional. It, mm-hmm. My my album ends with Confessional, and it's like my final like apology to my ex, like for doing things that I shouldn't yeah. be doing as a boyfriend. And a lot of people wanted to know, like, well, first of all, a lot of fans of mine like hit me in my DMs or they'll come to my show and they was like, "Thank you for that record because that's mm-hmm. the apology they never got from the ex." That's amazing. So that's the power of music. And on that note, um, because the other concept I was going to do if I didn't get this track list uh-huh. was based off of your tweets, what we did last time. And one of them was about how um, so, like, there's some account that's trolling you for something with your ex. And I just love that you said, like, hey, I love all my exes. I apologize. Right. Nobody really ever gives that true apology to an ex. So what made you want to get to that point? Because I think it's always pride or just someone just – not wanting I mean, to I, be wrong. I mean, the the crazy part, I apologize, like, during the relationship. Yeah. Where, you know, like, like, I, mm-hmm. when my relationships come to an end, trust that I've tried every way possible for it to not have to come to a demise. Yeah. Um, yeah. But publicly, I don't mind apologizing also. Mm-hmm. And in my music is where I expose myself the most. Mm-hmm. I really don't go in, like, on my love life on social yeah. media. But in my music, yeah. I'll tell on myself. Yeah. So, um... That was just my final. It was for me more so than her. I felt I already yeah. apologized to her. She actually heard the record before it came out. So mm-hmm. um, it was just therapy for me. Music yeah. is the way I heal. Because sometimes I need an apology that I never would get yeah. from my exes. So I, yeah. and, and, and I'm going to be clear with my music. I paint myself to be a little worse than I was. Let me say that. Like, okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to ever bash. No, I just would never bash my exes. That's just not yeah. my demeanor. I'm not trolling yeah. nobody. I'm not. I move yeah. on. I, I, forgive, I forgive forgiveness for myself yeah. and for them. And I get on to the next phase of life. Mm-hmm. So um, in my music, I do paint myself to be a little worse than what it really was. And again, I, I, yeah. people owe me apologies, but I don't move accordingly. You yeah. know what I mean? I may not ever get it. They may not be sorry for what they did. What um, I like that. What made you want to paint paint yourself as worse than what it actually was? Because I'm a flawed man, period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm not a person that's trying to act like I'm perfect. Mm-hmm. There's no such thing as that. I would never yeah. be a, a perfect uh, man. I can just yeah. learn from my mistakes, uh, apply the lessons in which I've learned, yeah. and try to be better and, and not let the next woman in my life bear my demons. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's really what I get to. So I don't mind the world just thinking, whoa, he was like a piece of shit <laughs> all the time. Like, it's cool, you but know he what I'm was saying? Not that bad. Of a no, piece of shit. no, no. Like, like <laughs> trust me, I know. I know. You know. Unfortunately, we've all experienced like some type of heartbreak, and mm-hmm. um, I don't know a lot of women that haven't felt what infidelity felt, feels like. Unfortunately, so yeah. it's regular shit yeah. that everyone has experienced. It's yeah. just me. I paint myself like the epitome of the worst yeah you know what i'm saying and it's really it really wasn't and that. you know even in your song it really isn't unfortunately that really isn't like the worst of the worst There's no even worse yeah than and, that, then, so and, then, like, and then just truth be told like yeah there were times where my exes wanted me back after the fact or if i felt mm-hmm. if, I, if i had fallen short or vice versa me i just know like certain too much damage can be done and it will never be the same and i'm exactly. cool with just leaving things sometimes broken sometimes it's good to leave things like that definitely Um, So I'm going to skip down to -to Mm face-to-face. So I like that because I think um, communication is something that people lack, not even just in relationships or just overall, whether it's a love relationship or anything, it's communication. But that's what I thought of with face-to-face. But let's break down the concept. So face-to-face is actually – well, first let me finish this. Funeral is actually just saying that the woman that I did hurt that moved on and she's in a whole other relationship, it's me finally saying, you know what – the day that she gets married is the day I die. That's what funeral was about. 
Damn, that's deep. Yeah, <laughs> understanding I have to watch you get married to another man, bear children with another man, have the life in which I thought I would be that guy. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's what the funeral is. I like that concept way more than what I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's that. The day that she weds is the day that I die emotionally. I like, I don't have any, yeah. I've only been in, I'd say like two serious relationships and one serious like situationship yeah, bullshit thing. Yeah. Nobody married though or like yeah, yeah, anything yeah. So where that, I'd be like, I don't know. Like yeah, that'd that, be, that, that, not that I would care. It's just more like I, you know, like when people are like, oh, this person's in a new relationship. I've experienced that, but I wonder, I'm like, that would kind of suck. Like mm-hmm. not for me, but like it would suck to see someone like if you still love them, like get married. Like yeah, you said. So that's what it was. It was just like the day I have to watch her and accept, and I did and accept the fact that oh, she's yeah, elsewhere. Yeah. Uh, I died emotionally. That's all. And face to face. You're saying that's all, like, <laughs> not so lot. That's all. I'm like, that's Well, very... I'm in a different, happier place now. Yeah. And I'm happy that she's happy. And yeah. God bless her. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, well, then let's just not even talk about what I think the songs are. And let's just go <laughs> with you saying it. Okay. Yeah, face to Face. Yes. Is, is about a man finally uh, no longer running from himself. Okay. Uh, we know when we're not right. We know when we're full of shit. We know when we're about to, at some point, derail and take this amazing yeah. person and actually taint them and, mm. and hurt them and we're not doing that intentionally but it's yeah. just hard to face yourself yeah so this is like me finally saying you know what i don't want to run from my demons i don't want to run from lust i don't want to yeah. run from temptation i want to look at myself in the mirror and say how do i conquer this mm-hmm. so again i don't have to repeat history i have a problem with that in life as a person i just hate living in a life of redundancy mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so face to face is just looking at yourself in the mirror and saying you know what i'm tired of this i'm tired of myself what i'm is tired of the, doing the same old shit over and over what is the biggest thing that you had to face from coming of age to, to now like this album that you're like i finally overcame that demon um that 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 addressing self so i finally had like eight months of singleness right and that's Mm -hmm. a long time in my life like when i'm in a relationship it is long like four years four years three years like yeah that's 11 years of my life yeah trying to coexist with a whole nother spirit personality you know what i'm saying so i finally had eight months to like learn how to sleep alone Mm -hmm. date alone like i just eat by myself i'll just go to the bar by myself i'll just yeah. Go bowling with the homies. I never did that. I always yeah. needed a female companion of some sort because I just yeah. I enjoy a woman's company. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Uh, but learning yeah. self control. Yeah. And learning like to not have just recreational sex. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just yeah. sex for fun. Mm-hmm. I'm spreading my spirit all over the place for why. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like it starts to yeah. feel empty mm-hmm. at some point. And Definitely. I always wanted this feeling though. I wanted that feeling of. This has to get old. Did you have, um, it's interesting to hear because when you said you didn't like being alone, um, that was that was something I had, I had experienced as well, but you always think it's going to be, did you think it was going to be eight months of true singleness? Did you think it was going to be longer? Because I've heard stories where it's like, oh, I really like intentionally was like, I'm not going to move until God says this is the person, but then it happened within a week, and but yeah, I was ready like, to be, I, you know? Yeah, like, um... I told myself, I used to tell my manager and uh, a few buddies of mine all the time, like, yo, 2019, I mean, yeah. excuse me, 2018, I'm not liking anybody. By the way, um, I saw, you know, that you guys went through your DMs and said, like, I know my wife is in here and I yeah, have to that, come. I like, was, I was, was joking no, I and that just joking, went, it, but went, it, was it just took funny. a whole life of its no, own. No, like, no, no, I knew you were joking, <laughs> but it was just funny that it's like, I had to bring that up since, you know, it's in mm-hmm. here and I'm like, you were saying you're going to be single, but it's crazy because I'm like, ladies, I don't think the way to... Um, be the one for a guy to slide in their DMs. You know but what? Carry on. I mean, to <laughs> eat this on. It's a different yeah, day we like, live in. You know, yeah. there's are, there are people that have healthy relationships that derive from Instagram or yeah. Facebook. You know, so I don't I don't shame it. But I was being silly that day. Yeah, no. And then <laughs> yeah. it just took a whole left turn somewhere. Uh, but no, just having that time to yeah. to really, I think the reason why I didn't want to be alone is because I went I didn't want to deal with my true self. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I used to give myself excuses for my shortcomings. Oh, I was miserable. Oh, I wasn't happy. Oh, she switched up on me. And these things can still be yeah. true. Yeah. But that doesn't give me the right to be a toxic man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have the option to leave. Yeah. <laughs> while it's still healthy. I just realized, you know what? You're not compatible. Or I'm not. We're not. Yeah. As a cohesive unit, let mm-hmm. me leave. Instead of, like, trying to get this girl on the side to fill me where yeah. you lack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what infidelity is. Most cases, you only do something... Typically, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? There yeah. is sometimes pointless yeah. like infidelity acts. Yeah. <laughs> but mostly somebody's trying to supplement what they're not getting in the mm-hmm. relationship. So finally yeah. just having that time with self made me face myself. 
did you learn? I mean, I'm sure you learned a lot about yourself in that time of singleness, uh-huh. but what's one of the biggest things you learned about yourself? Um, That I care about peace too much. Mm-hmm. Not like in a bad way yeah. to like sacrifice that ever again. Like I don't care who you are. Yeah. If you're my girlfriend, you're not disrupting my peace. I finally yeah. found like what it was like to stay happy. Mm-hmm. And that's on the road, mm-hmm. off the road, yeah. during work, in the gym. I'm just a peaceful person. Yeah. And I, I sacrifice my peace sometimes for too long in my life mm-hmm. uh, for love. And yeah. the, the definition that I have in my mind of love is not uh, chaos. I need peace with somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In this music industry, I've, I, I'm, I haven't slept in like four days for real, yeah. for real. I've been battling a cold since Monday, Yeah, but the show must go on. Yeah. So the last thing I want to do while I'm on a press run in L.A., yeah. a press run in New York, a press run, you know, yeah. all over the world is come home to chaos. Yeah. You understand exactly. what I'm saying? So um, I, I, I don't compromise that no more for anybody. That's amazing. So next one, H-L-I-T-L. And yeah, I'm like, that's well, an what acronym. Like, yeah, for, well, no, I was trying to guess the acronym. I'm like, I'm not going to guess. <laughs> what is it? Right, um. <laughs> That's uh, it's like Wheel of Fortune. You would, you would lose all. The yeah, I w- wait. Else. I should try to guess. Can I like? Okay, uh, how you do can we break do this? it up a little bit. H L I. You do the first like break the. First. I thought H was like how. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. How L love. Uh, nope. Like how lo- lust love. Nope. Lust. <laughs> life. Nope. Not life. Not Fuck. love. Not lust. How. Uh, no, no, I gotta get it. We'll do two more. How. What like usually when you use how for something how, I said she, I said yeah, like she said life lust and love and those aren't it. I can't ask them because they probably know. They know, yeah. Do you guys know any other guess? L. How lit? <laughs> how lit? No, not lit. How, it's lit. How is it a name? No. What's the second letter? It's a it's a it's a, it's a four letter word. How long? There you go. How long is? There we go. This. Nope. How damn? That's exactly the song. Jocelyn, you are. What do they say? Bravo, Wheel of Fortune. Bravo, what do they say? Wheel you want fortune. a fucking you boat. Want a like, boat. What do you want you a have boat? the yacht. How long is too long? How long is too? No, because when I read it, I'm like, what does this yeah, mean? Like, yeah. How long is right. too long? Yeah, I did it. How long is too long? Yeah. How Go long ahead. is too long? <laughs> Um, it's about finally like, uh, meeting this person that okay. gives you this feeling that you always thought love was supposed to be like, right. Mm-hmm. And you, you don't want it to end, you know what I'm saying? So you're like, how long is too long? Cause I, I really don't want you to ever leave. So it's that, it's a, uh, dope Island type vibe record. Yeah. Rhythmically, uh, instrumentation wise, we just shot yeah. the video out here in LA about nice. three weeks ago. And it'll come out actually on my birthday along with the album. So okay. that'll be the first visual. Nice. From the Everlasting album, but it's a dope, dope record just in yeah. time for the spring. Um, I think everyone's going to enjoy it. Super catchy, too. Uh, we had a listening party the other night like with yeah. a few young ladies that we selected, and they loved that record. So, uh, nice. yeah, how long is too long? Yeah, I like how you did it, too, with the acronym. I'm like, you should definitely do that with like your answer. I'm like, what do you guys think this yeah, is? That like, should be your when, first reveal. Yeah, when I write, when <laughs> I write music, and I actually got to say that, uh, that that was Skino's idea, because at first it was how we wrote it out, and he came up with the thing of making it an acronym but when i write music like funeral when you face to face like i could have yeah. called face to face infidelity because yeah. that's what it's talking about like coming face to face with that side of you yeah i don't like to go with the obvious everything is like but deep with me we need to make that a game on instagram that would let's be see dope. if anyone can guess it yeah i'm gonna take that idea i like that <laughs> idea that's dope i like that unlove you that's intense I yeah, like it though. How do you record, unlove a person? That yeah. record is going to be like the, like it's not a single, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But I can see that being like the crowd favorite off the album yeah. because everyone wishes they can unlove someone. Yeah. And um, I was going through a breakup and I just could not let this girl go. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Uh, and she's an amazing person. Uh, we just weren't a good team. You feel me? And no matter what, I, I, fake, I think I did like a fake breakup like every other week <laughs> it felt like. You but, know what's crazy? I was just talking about that. I'm like, it's always like these breakups when you, you kind of plan in your head, like, okay, I'm going to break up with this person this week. Yeah. And then you end up breaking up at a point that you weren't even planning to break up. It kind of just like blows up. Yeah, like but, you then, said, fake but, then, but then you take them back and then it's like a yeah. uh, false alarm. I thought I was done. Like it was just yeah. a continuous pattern of me trying to force someone into my destiny. Mm-hmm. And... um wanting to unlove them, untouch them, unsee mm-hmm. them, unfeel yeah. them. Like, um, it's a profound record that I, I, I wrote that f- specifically for myself. 
Mm-hmm. But I thought about it from a like universal standpoint, a global standpoint. It was like everybody has that one person that they yeah. wish they can unlove. Yeah. What advice do you have for people going through a breakup right now? Um, get comfortable mm-hmm. with the idea of being uncomfortable. Okay. A lot of times when we know it's over, we stay for like, we give ourselves excuses. History, like we yeah. put in so much time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the notion that we don't want to start over. We got to yeah. meet the parents, new family, new, you know what I mean? You don't want to do that because you're comfortable with the mom and the pops and the siblings. Mm-hmm. Um, those those things are comfortable for you because that's yeah. what you've been accustomed to for however long you guys have been in a relationship. Mm-hmm. So I would tell people to get comfortable with being uncomfortable for some time, you know, mm-hmm. and you can't desire better if you don't make room for it. I've learned that too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't believe like the grass is green on the other side. I do believe in just watering your lawn. Mm -hmm. However, there is better for us. I think, again, there's somebody for everybody. And Mm -hmm. if you're still holding on to something that's draining and that's toxic and that's not bringing out the best version of you, uh, you can't receive better. So just just get comfortable. Find comfort in being uncomfortable for some time. Perfect. So I have a few more and then we'll be done. I liked uh, success versus love. Yeah, it's like one of my personal favorites. Yes. Yeah, so let's talk about the true definition of success. You talked about how you define love, how it's not chaos and it's peace. And then are those the same thing? Is success, is love part of success? Yes, for me. Yeah. Okay. For me. Um, I can have sold out shows. I can have millions of dollars. I can be able mm-hmm. to just do what I want to do, but without love, without somebody to share it with, for me, whatever yeah. reason why God wired me to love. And I love everybody. I love you. I love my manager. I love everybody. I'm just this big thing of love walking around this thing called Earth, right? But specifically with the companion. um, And I think because I've done so much. and Mm -hmm. I'm going to my 20th year of being professionally known as Sammy. I've been Mm -hmm. blessed to see the world just because I'm gifted in music. Yeah. And I think it's dope to just have somebody right there with you. Or to somebody to call when you get the good news and you close that deal that that at first seemed impossible. Mm -hmm. Um, Success versus love is like... As soon as, like, the music started popping off again for me yeah. and my followers are shooting up and, yeah. you know what I'm saying, the DMs <laughs> is blowing up. DMs going crazy trying I'm, to be your wife. Yeah, <laughs> like, and I'm booked and busy. My yeah. love life just took a complete, like, tilt. Yeah. You know, and that and, and the success brings, like, insecurities into mm-hmm. the woman in your life if, she's al- if you yeah. allow it and if she allows it to. Yeah. And that's what I faced and I couldn't understand it because she was there doing the struggle. I'm yeah. like, you remember when I didn't have a car? You remember yeah. when I... Lost or you met me right after I lost everything, and I'm trying mm-hmm. to climb back to this hill, quote unquote, of success. Yeah, and now it's happening, and we're fighting all the time because yeah. of it. Yeah, and I, I won't sacrifice your my peace. dream yeah. and peace, <laughs> peace yeah. for love either. Like she's just gonna whoever you know, she would have to just fit yeah. into my life. I can't. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I've been singing my whole life. I dedicated it. I dedicated my life to mastering this. So, and I was going to ask you too because, um, you like you said, everything. It's amazing how much God's blessed you with everything that's been coming. Where is that hard to, you know, I think in general when people have so much success, mm-hmm. it's like who's really like for you or who's for the all success. the success that they see. Yeah, you know? um, I've been doing it long enough now to just have like discernment. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like all you have to do is let a woman speak. Like if you yeah. just be quiet and let people talk, they'll tell you exactly who they are. You know exactly. what I'm saying? And then your yeah. your job is to believe that they're who you're seeing. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So if a girl is a gold digger, she can't help but talk about yeah. materialistic things for an hour. That's yeah. just, she won't talk about, you know, being ambitious. She won't talk yeah. about her own drives and aspirations. She'll just keep talking about Louis and Gucci and trips all yeah. day. And if that's all she's about, then it's for you to take that from the conversation and move mm-hmm. accordingly. So for me, it's it, I will never fall for like the wrong girl in that way. Definitely. Yeah. It's true though. Yeah, you know, yeah. when I first started doing, I started doing interviews 10 years ago, and I didn't know what I was getting into. So because I saw, like, groupies and all this stuff, yeah. I would be so scared to go up to an artist or a manager and be like, can I please get your contact for an interview? Like, I would have the worst anxiety. I'm like, they're going to think I'm a whore. Right. Like, I just did it. Like, <laughs> but then when I got into it, I'm like, okay, I'm like, yeah, we're good. It's about it's your like, spirit. It's yeah. about your approach. People can feel <laughs> energy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's a, that's a conversation in itself or a language, rather. Energy yeah. feeds energy and understands exactly. energy. So, no, um, you don't. You won't give that off. You don't give that off. No, yeah. So that's nothing for you to be. You know. <laughs> no, but when I how old was I? I was nineteen when okay. I started. Okay, so yeah. I just, so you're just I'm 19, a, yeah, like, you're a baby trying to club, figure it out. Like, hey, right. 
rapper dude person like <laughs> can we do an interview in right. this club that i snuck in like with an id right I need clearly you're 19 right. yeah. so, i like that so that's what it was but then now i'm like now i see it where it's like okay this i never had anything to worry about because like you said let yeah. someone speak and you can see it you'll see what it is so i have okay so i was debating between i'm doing three side okay um but then between stupid or truth is Okay. Which one do you want to do? Or we can do if you like all you. of them. Well, it's up to you. I don't do know all because three they or whichever, were all... whichever uh, it's, it's your word. I'm here. Okay, let's do stupid. Just because okay. I'm like, what? What is that? Just because I mean, I know what stupid is, but right, let's it's talk about, about um how I personally cope with like a breakup. Okay. And I think most men do this. Okay, what so, do they like, do? We break up, right? <laughs> and yes. like women get on the phone with their like best friend and they cry and group text they hate group text and they go this is like, like group text all the yeah, time. they go eat snacks or good food and just have this whole therapy session yeah. right uh guys we we're trying we're, we're raised to be so macho and hard and so like detached from our emotional side yeah. so to cope we like drink and we might smoke a little something and we mm-hmm. go to the club and we're trying to like bag every bad thing that's walking yeah just to cope with not thinking about our recent ex now with somebody else yeah. sleeping with another man because we yeah. can't stomach that, of course yeah. not. <laughs> so um, it's about like tonight I'm going to do something stupid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I might regret it in the morning depending on how I feel, but tonight I'm just going to wild out because that's how I'm coping with this breakup. And yeah. I, I went through a phase of that. Like I, yeah. when the relationship ended for me, I didn't want it to end. Yeah. And um, it was the best but worst time because I was going yeah. on a tour with Tank, right? So I was like, oh God. <laughs> You know, it's going to be ladies, like, heavy for 20 cities straight. Are there ever even guys at your guys' show? I didn't see too many guys at me and Tank's tour. It was mostly ladies yeah. from, like, 21 to 50. You know what I'm saying? You had, you had yeah. all these generations there. So um, it was during that time for me, and I really didn't want to lose myself, but I was, mm-hmm. like, unhappy again because, yeah. again, this is this is a time where I would want it to have my girlfriend mm-hmm. at the shows with me. Like, look, I'm yeah. going on tour with my idol. Yeah. And it wasn't yeah. that way. So it was just like I, I went through a stupid phase where I just was having fun. And again, like yeah. supplementing these voids and these empty yeah. holes that I had in myself uh, with women for the time being. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three sides. Well, so the way I read it, because your name's on there. So I read it as three sides, Sammy. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like, not three sides, Sammy. Yeah, not that three, would mean like that's I'm, why I said I'm like. Have split what's, personalities what's or some side? shit. No, no, it's just called three side. Okay, let's talk about three side. What do you think what, it's about? Uh, well, it's no. So originally, when I read it, see, it was like that. I'm like three side Sammy. I'm like that's trippy. Oh but yeah, that's not like, it. No, that would be I a terrible it. title. Yeah, I was I'm doing like, so what? good until I got you three side Sammy. <laughs> three side Sammy. Yeah, no, just three side. Three side. So, um, good. Bad, ugly. <laughs> uh, I can see that. No, it's but about, no, it's, it's I'm wrong not about that. everything. It's not that it's uh, it's like your side, oh, my side, and then there's the truth. The truth. Okay, I and like I, that. Better. And I'm living in the truth. So uh, it's just me expressing my truth. You know, again, when you break up with somebody, like my yeah. my guys may hear a whole different version yeah. from the version you share with your your lady friends. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying me, I'm just deciding to tell the truth, and the truth is, we collectively weren't. A team, you know what I mean. Yeah. As you, I, I'll never ever just point the finger. Like there's yeah. situations where I could really just like my ex was the worst. Like I'm never gonna do that because yeah. that's just not my spirit. But I will live in my truth, and that's again the hardest thing for people to do. Like yeah. I think if we all just one day learn how to detach emotions, because emotions make you impulsive. Yeah. And now you're just feeding content to your crew. Yeah. Emotionally mm-hmm. and irrationally. Yeah. When the dust settles, then analyze the situation and live in your truth. And you'll realize how much you had to do with yeah. things not working also. And yeah, that doesn't mean always, you're supposed to get back yeah. together or nothing, but it's just having that 2020 in hindsight moment yeah. with yourself. So three side is just me living in the truth. That's amazing. Yeah, there's always breakups and stuff. I like, I mean, again, I didn't know what the concept was, but I like that it's like a breakup and like healing process. Yeah, so there's then, a breakup, yeah. there's a makeup, there's love, there's... <laughs> Hate. Uh, re- there's hate <laughs> there's reflection you know what i'm saying on like it's uh the, this album is like if you watch black mirror on um netflix okay, and, and, so and, in regards to that? Mm-hmm. i only saw one i fell asleep but everyone's like you got to get into black yeah mirror. it's dope it's pretty dope yeah. i think the reason why i like it because every episode is its own thing so yeah. like in most series you can't watch one 
yeah. and then watch episode 10 because you're like, well, I didn't see the other yeah. eight in between, right? Yeah. But Black Mirror, <laughs> each episode is literally has nothing to do with the next. And that's how this album was created. So it's okay. not about my just my last girlfriend. Yeah. Well, And, and you mentioned um, your ex heard one of the records before it came out. So do mm-hmm. you... Are there some people where you're like, oh, they'll just hear it when they hear it? Or do you say like, hey, um, you can listen to the, this? The, Are you cool with it? There's three songs that's that's about a woman from my like my most recent relationship. Mm-hmm. Two of the three she heard. Okay. We were actually like in that gray area where you're trying to see if you can get the sparks back or figure yeah. it out. So she heard those those two. And then one was influenced like when it was all set in three side, actually. She never heard three side. Oh, okay. Like we ended not so great. Yeah. And I was like. She's probably telling her girls this shit. Yeah. And I could tell my mans this shit, but I'm just going to tell the truth. But it's in three side now. Yeah. So, no, so that's the only one she thing. hasn't heard. And, and then, I don't know if she's in the space to listen to my next album, but if she does. You know she's going to listen to it. A friend's going to listen to it. Some, yeah, some, that's you're, some way gonna of, hear somebody going to get it back to her some, <laughs> in some shape, form, or fashion. Look, girl, you still talk about your ass. You know how y'all girls be like, it, uh, let, I call you I, the police. Women are the police, okay? It's, it, it, y'all gonna oh report? God. Y'all gonna report back? That's just He's what y'all gonna talking. do. You still singing about your ass, girl? Technically, you probably did the song at the time, so you're probably still yeah, not like, even talking yeah, about it's, her. I'm it's in a just, whole new phase of life. You know what I'm saying? So but, just to be clear, that was yeah, recorded that at was the time during the time, where, <laughs> and it's the end of the album, right? Well, close to the end, of the right? Album. It is at the end. <laughs> okay, well, the last song, well, truth is, I think I got the answer from. Because three side was before it, so now it's your. Tr- so are you exposing like the truth in that song now? Now that so I, I know yeah. people are gonna think that because they think yes. chronologically. I'm just gonna shut up about my thoughts. Truth is now. Now truth is is about. But see, I love it. See, because yes. like that when you read the title, the track listen, it's like it's meant yeah. for you to. It's like watching previews of a movie. You know, at yeah. the end of the preview, you're like, oh, I'm not gonna see it. Oh, yeah, red box. You know what I'm saying. But when you see a track listing, you automatically, your mind goes to becoming a person to guess, like, what it's about. Yeah. Um, I want people to think that certain some of these records, they connect. Some of them, they, not so much. Again, it's like its own episode. Truth is, is like what men go through, but we don't say it. What do they go and through? Like, a guy could, you, could, you could break up with your guy today, right? And he can act all macho and not call you for a week. But let him He's see depressed. you. No, let him see you out. <laughs> yeah. With the guy, though. Like, y'all just so b- happen to bump into each other and he sees yeah. you with somebody and you're happy. Yeah. And you got this glow that he recognizes. Yeah. The truth is, yeah. uh, I'm saying I want my girl back. Yeah, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought I was done. I thought I was finished. I thought yeah. I was cool. But the truth is, nah. And it took that scenario. Oh, to see her. Yeah, sometimes you have to. And it's, it's crazy how that works for us. Like, we're just the dumbest species walking would- <laughs> the planet. You know what I mean? Like, we can love you and, and care about you. But for whatever reason, we just have a hard time, you know, showcasing that. Yeah. But let us see another man doing the things we were supposed to do. We'll get our act together ASAP. Damn. So it's saying, truth is, I want you back. And truth is, I hope you really don't like love, love this, this guy. Man. Yeah. Because I, I'm ready to get my shit together. I couldn't even imagine what that would feel like. Could you imagine? Like I said, this is my group text right here. Okay. And I remember, like, I, you know, not to make this about, but it's just about that. They would recently people, a lot of people, even people who didn't know about any of the shit I was going through, like any chaos. They're like, you look so much like happier, happier. and you glow. And I'm like, I'm not even talking to anyone. This is just like, I'm good. It's just like, your I'm self care now. glow I've that did, you have going I, That's on. why I enjoy talking to you because I went through that, that same thing of mm-hmm. like, I have to be alone. I have to like let go of the things I didn't want mm-hmm. to like, let go of. So that's why even hearing that, but to old me back then, I couldn't even handle seeing shit on social media, let alone if I saw someone like in person. Happy. Right, that's but the last I thing never, you want to see. I didn't fuck it up, so that's why I couldn't imagine a guy if you fucked it up and then you actually saw it in your face. Right. I couldn't handle social media. Right, like I'd throw my. No, it's, it's like, good to detox anything. that too. If you have yeah. to unfollow or block somebody, that's not petty. That's healthy. Yeah. That's good. I, yeah. I haven't seen my ex. Yeah. In months, you know what I'm saying? You're talking about the Explore page. I'm yeah, like, no nah, one pops up I, on my Explore page. No, none of that. And, and it, it wasn't to be petty. It's not like I don't care about her or yeah. think about her. I wish that she, I hope that she's happy and like yeah. flourishing and she has a glow. I hope that. Yeah. I just, you know, needed to do it for myself. It was yeah. impossible for me to move on if she's still on my timeline. Looking yeah. awesome in this little nice ass <laughs> fucking perfect light she took the selfie in. Or I don't <laughs> like memes and I don't like certain subliminal messages that... Throw off my whole day. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) 
<laughs> so I don't see any of that. And like it's been a healthy however long it's been since I've seen this person. So that's yeah. good that you do that. You have to take initiative to to self care. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because no one's gonna care about yourself more than you. Exactly. So um that's healthy. I encourage well, it. Cheers to both of us glowing. And that's right. Let's glow. Peace. Let's glow. Halo glow. <laughs> the that's glow that's right. up mm-hmm. is very real. Very, 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 very Thank real. you again. This went wait sorry, this went way longer, but I love the track. I can't wait to hear the songs. Thank if you. you. Want to uh, send over those songs no, for the <laughs> interview? Little, but I want to uh, hear. I really which, want. Which ones would you like to? They all. Everything we talked about sounded so good. Um, well, probably that eight, the H L I T L, because I couldn't figure yeah. that out. Uh-huh. On love, you. I like all of them. So whatever you want to allow me to listen to before. Right. And then March 15th, you guys can listen to the album. This is airing probably March 15th. Most exactly. like March 15th, this will be yeah. airing. Then March 1st, the album comes out. Mm-hmm. Um, and then February. Oh, uh, no, then it, we can it, air it earlier. Yeah, for I sure. Wish, the I, album's, the album the be out. How did I get March 15th? Yeah, my birthday's March 1st. Oh. So we're releasing we're releasing the album on my birthday. March Where did 1st. I get March 15th then? I don't know. I just thought it was the Dash radio date. No, for, I can air this one ever. Okay, so. Yeah, after March 1st, have your way. Hey, so whatever date this is that you're listening to it. But <laughs> we did it. February 8th, so right. three weeks right. early. Right, so March 1st, it'll be out. The world will have it. Well, and I'm excited and just super grateful just, you know, to to get this idea out of my head, take it to the studio, and now it soon will be yeah. available on all digital formats. Nice. Well, congratulations. I Thank can't you. wait to hear it. I'm going to hear it before March 1st. That's right. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right.